So now we have y equals 2 times absolute value of x minus 2. So this one is a little bit more complicated. So let me draw out the axis again. So we have our axis here. What was the strategy for the previous one? As long as we're dealing with positive values, right, absolute value doesn't change anything, right? So if x is greater than 2, right, absolute value of x minus 2 is just x minus 2. So we have y equals 2 times x minus 2. So y equals 2x minus 4. Okay. So if we draw some points on our graph here. We now want to look at the graph of y equals 2x minus 4. So the slope is 2. So the y and the y-intercept is negative 4. So if we plug in 0, we get negative 4. So this is one point on there. Then the slope is 2, right? So we're kind of stepping up 2 each time. So for example, if we plug in 2, we get 0, right? It's easy to see. 2 times 2 minus 4 is 0. So here is our equation of this line. Well, let me do it separately. Right? y equals 2x minus 4. So that's what I'm doing in green. So the green line is y equals 2x minus 4. So what about the other part? What about if x is less than 2? Then absolute value of x minus 2, this is negative, right? So this is negative x minus 2. Remember, when it's negative, we flip the sign. So negative x plus 2, right? Both of them have to turn into negative values. So we have negative x plus 2. So we have y equals 2 times negative x plus 2. So now we have y equals negative 2x plus 4. So now we have a different line here. Let me draw this line in blue here. So this line has a y-intercept of what? Of 4. So we have the point 0, 4 here. Now let's see what happens when we plug in the point 2 as well, right? If you plug in the point 2, you get negative 2 times 2. That's negative 4. Plus 4 is 0. So we get this point here as well. Why shouldn't that surprise us? Well, what if we plugged in 2 to the original equation, right? This is an equation. If we plug in 2, 2 times the absolute value of 2 minus 2 is 2 times the absolute value of 0. So that is just 0, right? So this is one single point. This is an actual function. So now if we draw this graph, we get the blue line here with a slope of negative 2. So this is y equals negative 2x plus now, do we have all of this? No. Remember, we only want the green line when x is bigger than 2. So we have to delete this part of the green line below that x equals 2. So we only want that above. Similarly, we delete the blue line when it's above x equals 2. So we're left with, again, a v. That shouldn't surprise us too much. It's a slightly different B. It's moved over a little bit, and if you drew this, it would be a little bit narrower if I maybe drew a little bit better graph or you graphed it on graph paper. But it's the same type of equation. Again, we're getting this B for the absolute value.